Today, ladies and gents, we're gonna talk about a great American symbol, the bison. One of the most fascinating stories about the bison, a story that's been handed down from generation to generation, is how the bison handles and reacts to storms when compared to their close relative, the cow. You see, when a storm approaches the cows, they tend to huddle together and they tend to run away from the storm. Whereas the bison, in all its strength and might, heads into the storm, charging directly at it and taking that storm head on. So metaphorically, if you were looking for a vehicle that was a great representation of the bison and how it has an aggressive stance on attacking challenges and attacking obstacles and going directly at and facing their fears, look no further than the 2022 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 Bison. Now the reason I want to bring up the Bison today, because this vehicle has been out since like 2019, but this 2022 model we currently have in stock is actually the first Bison ZR2 Colorado that we've ever had. So it's the first time I got to see it in person and I'm impressed. I like the little, uh, the joint venture between Chevrolet and AEV. AEV is a company called American Expedition Vehicles. Chevrolet and them, they partnered up and they took the ZR2 sort of to the next level as far as style and capability. The Colorado ZR2 Bison, you know, it starts off like a regular ZR2. So it is a four-door crew cab. Uh, on the inside, you're gonna see it's it's fairly fully loaded. You know, this does have leather interior, has heated seats. It has an upgraded eight inch radio. This particular one does have the navigation package as well. You have a nice second row seat here. Um, again, full leather interior, a couple of USB ports and some charger ports in the back. You even have under seat storage here that you can kind of lift up I'll do this one handed and store things underneath the seat itself. You can see here when you lift up the other side of the seat, you have a nice little storage compartment there. You have your tools for your uh, your tire change. One feature I also like about the Colorado is you can actually drop the seats down. You press the button to fold the headrest and you can drop it flat here like this. So if you wanted to put any kind of packages or anything like that, you can put it on the seat, on the seat back like this versus putting it on the actual leather interior. In the back here, you have a roll formed high strength steel pickup box. It does have the spray and bed liner uh, standard in a ZR2 and you get the ZR2 emblem there in the back of the bed. It also has a lockable easy lower and easy lift tailgate. Now, like other trims of the Colorado, this does have a fully boxed frame. However, the ZR2 does have an off-road appearance package, off-road suspension. It gives you increased ground clearance and track width. Basically, it makes it more capable than the other trims. The main component of that is the Multimatic DSSV dampening suspension system. Not only does it look great, but it performs amazingly as well. Most of these Colorados that I've dealt with, whether it be any of the trims, they're generally equipped with the 3.6 liter V6. It's 308 horsepower, 275 pound-feet of torque. Now, there is an optional 2.8 liter Duramax turbo diesel. It's rare. I've seen a handful of them in different trims. Uh, this truck does not have this. This does have the V6, and it is the more popular of the two engine options. The V6 runs on regular 87 octane, and it gets around uh, 17 on average between city and highway mileage. Now, of course, this vehicle is four-wheel drive with the AutoTrack two-speed transfer case. It does have hill descent control. It even has driver-selectable front and rear locking differentials. So the capability of what you can do off-road in this truck is gonna be awesome. You're gonna absolutely love it and you're gonna handle most obstacles that you find out there. Inside the cockpit of the Colorado ZR2 Bison, it's gonna look uh, you know, pretty much like the other Colorados. You do have all your power equipment here on the door. You have things like automatic headlights. You do have a heated steering wheel on this particular one. You have heated uh, driver and passenger seats. You have a nice eight inch touchscreen radio. And I gotta tell you, from what I heard from clients out there in other brands, brands like uh, Toyota, Honda, Volvo, Acura, Mercedes, our system is the easiest to use. You know, I hear that all the time in, our, in all our cars for the most part, that our infotainment is very easy to use. It's all touch or voice. There's no mouse trackpad. There's no wheels and knobs. It's just what you see. It's a button, you touch, you're there. Below that, you have all your climate settings. You have all your buttons we looked at earlier with like locking differentials and hill descent control. It's a nice cab. It's laid out very nicely. Uh, this does have the navigation in dash with the Bose stereo system as well. So you're getting really like a fully equipped truck. Now, again, that's Colorado ZR2. This one is a Bison. So let's talk about what makes the Bison 
the Bison. We mentioned earlier that Chevrolet and AEV partnered up to really just make the Bison more uh, stylish and capable. When you look at the truck right off the bat, you can notice a couple things. You're gonna notice that you have front and rear steel bumpers. Now the front bumper here, you do have the ability to mount a winch to, which would be awesome if you're off-road trailing, you get caught up in something, you can winch yourself out or you can winch out another vehicle. On the back of the vehicle here, you'll notice you have the steel bumper. You have a couple of points there where you can attach D-rings. Not only do they look cool on the truck, but again, capability. It's gonna give you the ability to pull someone out of a jam or get yourself pulled out of a jam, depending on what you're doing off-road. That front bumper does have fog lights integrated as well, which is great to have extra auxiliary lighting while you're going down the trail. It has some really nice wheel flares, which make the truck just look a little bit more aggressive, have a wider stance, you know, give it more of a presence going down the road, along with 17 inch dark graphite aluminum wheels wrapped in Goodyear Wrangler Dora tracks. When you're off-roading, one of the things that could always happen is you can get hung up on some rocks or things like that, and the best thing you can have to protect the vital components under your truck are skid plates. So this actually has five of them. You're covering your fuel tank, your rear differential, your front transfer case. You have a lot of great coverage under there to keep those components protected from rocks, tree branches, uh, you know, stumps, whatever you might be, uh, whatever you might be traversing over. The Bison Edition does come with some all-weather floor liners. They are AEV specific. You know, listen, you're out in the trails, you're getting your boots muddy, you get back in the truck, you want to, you know, keep the truck as clean as possible. You can take those mats out, you hose them off, you put them back in. They do say AEV. Why not represent the brand with all the parts on the truck? You also have AEV emblems on the outside of the vehicle and embroidered into the headrest. So when people see this truck, they're going to know it's something different. They're going to know it's not a normal ZR2 Colorado. I'm gonna put the window sticker up on the screen here. This particular truck MSRP is $52,435. You'll notice that ZR2 Bison package is $5,750. Now, with Chevrolet partnering with AEV, this is actually a good deal. I went on AEV's website to see how much these parts would cost. Like, what if you had a ZR2 Colorado and you wanted to make it look like a Bison? Could you buy the bumper, the wheel flares, the skid plates, all those items? And you can. And I started adding it up and I got to over $6,000 and I didn't even add all the options in yet. So, you know, it's definitely a bargain to get it from General Motors, from Chevrolet, built on the vehicle from the factory. You'll also notice on this window sticker, there is a credit for $1,080. Uh, basically, this vehicle does not have the rocker protection that would normally come standard on the ZR2. I'm assuming, obviously, parts issues. They probably don't have them. So rather than deliver the vehicle without them and give you a later retrofit where you're paying for them, but you don't have them, they just took the price off the vehicle. So ladies and gents, that is the 2022 Colorado ZR2 Bison. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and definitely subscribe to the channel if you like content like this because we're all very excited here at Chevrolet because we have a new Colorado coming out for 2023. There may not be a Bison edition, but we're going to have what's called the Desert desert boss or something of that nature uh, it's gonna be awesome there's a lot of different variations to that Colorado I actually ordered the first allocation that is coming to this store to Schumacher Chevrolet of Livingston for someone who watches my channel it's gonna be a trail boss model so that truck should be here maybe by early early March there'll be content on that truck so definitely hit that subscribe button thanks for watching have a great day and uh, let me know in the comments do you like the bison edition would you go with that or just a standard ZR2